Okay, so we have a patient here that has um, some wisdom teeth. So we need to take distal oblique posterior exposures on. I can see three of the wisdom teeth, but I cannot see one of them, which is number one. So we need to make sure that that tooth is either missing or impacted. Okay, so we see we've got 17 here. All right, so we're first gonna be working on tooth number 16, since we've got the two over here. Um, this is our layout on the computer. So we've got maxillary right, maxillary left, mandibular left, and mandibular right. This is our snap array here for the sensor, and I'm gonna set it up just like I'm gonna do any bisecting angle. And I'm going to take a look into my patient's mouth and I'm going to place it just so that I can see that that tooth is going to be in my image. And I'm gonna place it directly onto the tooth and I'm going to close down. And I wanna make sure that I've got the sensor staying in the right position, which it looks good. Just till the patient is closing. And then I'm going to take my PID and my normal molar shot would be like this. But what I'm gonna do since it's a distal oblique, is just take it and turn it to the distal. And I'm gonna check it. Central beam is gonna be hitting right up here. My angulation looks good. All right, so let's go hit the button. And there I've got my tooth number 16 right in my exposure. Now we're going to drop down to the mandibular. I'm going to reposition my snap array. So I just need to make sure that it's level on the top there. Whoa. And I'm going to tighten it up. And that's one reason why we have these little clips here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go down to tooth number 17. Okay. And we're going to put it into the patient's mouth. Similar fashion, I'm gonna place it so that I see the tooth number 18, and I'm just gonna have it so that it is coming out of the thing. And I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna make sure that our sensor is in there correctly. Thank you. Those tongues sometimes get in the way. There we go, perfect. I'm just going to have the patient close down on that. And again, I can set it up so that I'm taking a molar, mandibular molar, and then I'm just going to rotate it back behind that tooth. Check it one more time at my computer and we're going to go expose that just a little bit.
And there's that little tooth right back here. I may have gone back a little bit too far on a live patient. I probably wouldn't be able to get it back that far, but here it is right there, ready for that oral surgeon to pop it out.